Good day, grade 2. Today, we're going to talk about a lesson that will surely be very interesting for you. And the title of our lesson is, Identifying the Properties of Multiplication. And to start, Chef Via bakes delicious cupcakes. That is why she has many customers every day. One day, a lady bought three boxes of cupcakes with six pieces each inside, and another bought six boxes with three pieces inside. How many cupcakes did each of the ladies receive? Now, we're going to talk about the properties of multiplication. So, there are three groups of six cupcakes. One group, two groups, and three groups. So, the multiplication sentence for this is 3 times 6 equals 18. Now, there's another way to describe the groups. So, we have this time 6 groups of 3 cupcakes. So, the multiplication sentence for this is 6 times 3 equals 18. And we have here 3 times 6 is equals 18 and 6 times 3 equals is equals 18 and we call this as the commutative property for multiplication now what is commutative property for multiplication this states that when the order or position of the factors is changed the product remains the same like for example we have 3 times 6 is 18 and 6 times 3 is 18 or 5 times 2 is 10 and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, a man would like to give his friends one donut each. If he has 8 friends, how many donuts should he buy? So, we have your one donut and he wanted to share to each of his 8 friends. So, we have to say 1 times 8 and it's equals 8. Now, he could share his donuts to his eight friends. His friend, another friend, another friend, another friend, another friend, and all his friends. So, we got here his eight friends. And he shared one donut for each of them. There you go. So, we have here again one times eight equals eight. And this is what we call the identity property for multiplication. Now, what is identity property for multiplication? This states that when a number is multiplied by 1, the answer is always the number itself. Like 1 times 8 is 8, or 8 times 1 is equals 8. And 12 times 1 is 12, and 1 times 12 is 12. There you go. Now, all the man's friends ate their donuts until all donuts were gone. How many people do you still see? Good. There are still eight people. How about the donuts? Yes, none. Zero. So, we may now describe it in the multiplication sentence as eight times zero equals zero. And this is what we call the zero property of multiplication. Now, what is zero property of multiplication? When we multiply any number by zero, the answer is always zero. For example, zero times eight is zero. Eight times zero is zero. Or 17 times zero is zero. And 0 times 17 is 0. There you go. Now remember, there are three properties of multiplication. Commutative property, identity property, and zero property. Good job, my dear grade 2. Now you already know the properties of multiplication.